good morning okay good evening today i am going to be making supper and i want you guys to come along and see what i'm gonna make it's been really busy around here working the greenhouse and working at the daycare i work at because they are out of school now so it's not just after school it's all day but i only work from 12 to 6 but um not a huge thing but i also have the greenhouse in my garden and my dad and my grandma are getting stressed out that i haven't covered the weeds with cardboard and mulch so i'm going to wake up very early tomorrow and work on that so what do we need when we work a lot nutritious food so i'm gonna make some food i started some chicken in the crock pot this morning and I think I left about 9.40 and it's been on low probably all day. It's about 6.30 right now and we're going to make something with that. Um, my first idea was chicken alfredo but I'm not sure if we have the ingredients and yeah. And then we have some food some people gave us and I'm going to try and use that so. So this is what the chicken looks like. Just put it in the crock pot. We are also gonna try and clean the kitchen. I'm alone at home, which is unusual, but the chicken is very tender and juicy because it has been cooking in this broth all night. And if I can make chicken Alfredo, this broth, you can use that instead of so much cream. Obviously you'll still want some cream, but this will be pretty good. So this is definitely not the messiest our house has been. But I think they must have been fixing something because they left a lot of tools and stuff out. And we don't have many dishes, but I just want to get it straightened out because my mom's going to be out late at my brother's baseball game and everyone else is at track and coach pitch i could have easily turned this into a crock pot meal by just adding cream cheese and cream in the crock pot but i didn't okay so i kind of like went downstairs and saw if we had noodles in our like pantry area we did not so what i'm going to do instead is make a healthy version so it'll obviously have more chicken broth and like cream. And instead of pasta, we're gonna have rice. But yeah, just a, basically a Parmigiani rice chicken kind of thing. So we are basically going to try and do this one pot. Um, I know I already used the crock pot, but we're gonna make the sauce and rice in the same pot. So what I'm gonna do first is add a stick of butter. Okay, so once the butter melts, we're going to add minced garlic, a heaping tablespoon. We love our garlic around here. So I'm debating what to do, put the rice in with the sauce now, or wait till the sauce is done, which would make the meal take longer in the end, but I've never done it the quicker way because my sister doesn't like rice um so I might just save her out some plain chicken even though she loves the sauce I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet one block of cream cheese the cream cheese helps it thicken and it helps it be creamy What I'm doing over here in the background is getting the chicken fat out and putting it in our scrap bowl. Now I just dump it in. Now we're just going to kind of mix until that cream cheese gets mixed. Cream cheese is melted and it is pretty hot. I'm going to get um, about a half of one of these heavy creams and pour it in. 
And by the way, I do feed a large family. Um, tonight, this will be feeding around eight, probably. And then I'll have a few leftovers. Now we're going to season. The most important ingredient is garlic salt. Then you can use white pepper. I just use black because I found it more organic usually and stronger flavor. Um, other than that, I might add a little salt. We'll see, but that'll just start to season it. Eventually, we'll probably add more. I might add another block of cream cheese just for more protein and more creaminess um, because I did not make a roux. Like most sauces you can use flour to make a roux, but we are going more for healthy on this recipe, healthy and nutritious. And if I had a lot of broth, I would do the majority of this broth, but I just have what was in the crock pot with the chicken. And I could have added water and bones but I'm actually gonna make a video about that in the upcoming weeks I'm going to make um, stuff out of chicken bones so this is gonna be really weird because I don't have mozzarella or Parmesan so I'm just going to add green can Parmesan afterwards right now I'm gonna put like a cheddar mix Cheddar Jack. I think I might cook my rice separately just because it's taking so long. So this is our sauce, which is getting really thick. Over here, I'm starting some rice. So I have the rice in here with water. And now I'm going to put the lid on. We are putting the chicken in. Just so we can get that flavor developed before we add the rice because rice has no flavor. So now everything's going good. The chicken and sauce are pretty much done. Um, rice is like only on the first 10 minutes of cooking. Asparagus is steaming. Um, there's no water on it. There's just like a strainer that's holding it above. But that's our meal going. Um, I have been snacking on this cookie. But now I'm gonna tidy up the kitchen. Hey guys, so supper is all going like i just showed you guys the rice is cooking it's almost done now chicken's just staying on the heat to be warm the asparagus is almost done but i'm going to get my lunch ready for work so come along and follow me make that so i've got this pear going to put the slices in here. And then one slice for me right now. And the asparagus is done. I 
slightly overcooked it. So I put it out on a cool plate. I'm gonna put some cheese on. I'm gonna add some seasoning. Just a little bit of pink Himalayan salt or any salt you prefer. That's the pear and apple, pear and tomato. The rest of this will be for tonight's supper. So I'm getting some of this cheese sauce chicken for my rice. So anyway, that's what my lunch for tomorrow looks like along with that asparagus I made and the pan tomato. So as I put all this in my bag, I find this chocolate that I'm going to bring as a little dessert. It's basically dark chocolate with like oranges, orange peels in it. Here's the picture of what supper turned out to be like. I know this wasn't my best video, but I hope you enjoyed this and feel a little inspired to make something nutritious and homemade to fuel your body. Have a wonderful day and stay tuned for next time.